Okay, let's show you the three by three matrix. So let's say you have four x minus y plus two z equal eleven. That's one equation. X plus two y minus z equal negative one is another equation. Two x plus two y minus three z equal negative one is another equation. So to solve this, what you need, x, y, and z has to be numbers. So when you plug it into the first equation, it calculates out to 11. The same three numbers have to plug into the second equation and come out to a negative 1, and the third equation and come out to a negative 1. This can be guessed, but it might take you a week or two. So let me show you the mathematical calculation to do it. It's in steps. So step 1, I'll take the first two equations, which are 4x minus y plus 2z equal 11 and x plus 2y minus z equal negative 1. Okay, I want to try to get rid of a letter so let me get rid of z. Since I have 2z at the top I want a negative 2z at the bottom. It's already negative so I'm going to just multiply 2 through it. So to rewrite it I have 4x minus y plus 2z equal 11 and below it I have a 2x plus 4y minus 2z equal negative 2. So when I add this from top to bottom I get a 6x plus 3y. The z's go away and it's going to be equal to 9. Step 2. I take the second two equations. You're going to use one equation twice because there's only three and you need two equations for step one, two equations for step two. So step two, I take the second two equations, which are x plus 2y minus z equal negative one, and 2x plus 2y minus 3z equal negative one. Now, if you look at step one, we eliminated z. So therefore, when we come to step two, we must eliminate the same variable. So again, in step one, you can choose to eliminate whatever variable you want, but in step two, you must eliminate that same variable. So to eliminate z, if you look at it, we got a negative three at the bottom. So that means we need to make the top a positive three. So multiply times a negative to get a positive three, we need to send negative three through the whole first equation. Because the common denominator of 1 and 3 is 3. So you want 1 to be negative 3, 1 to be positive 3. So when I send this negative 3 through, I'll have a negative 3x minus 6y plus 3z equal a positive 3. And on the bottom, just rewriting it, I have a 2x plus 2y minus 3z equal one. So when I add this from top to bottom, I'll have a minus x minus 4y. The z's will cancel and it'll be equal to 2. So these are my two equations. So what I'm going to do is, in step 3, I'm going to put those two equations I got to e together. So I have x 6x plus 3y equal 9 for the first equation. Negative x minus 4y equal 2 for the second equation. Let's say I want to get rid of x. So to get rid of x, I multiply the whole second equation by 6 to make it a negative 6x. So I have 6x plus 3y equal 9. And this bottom will be a negative 6x minus 24y equal 12. So when I add this together, the x's will cancel. I'll get a negative 21y equal to 21. So when you divide both sides by negative 21, you get y is equal to negative 1. You already have one letter. To plug it back in, I'll pick this second equation, and I have a negative x minus 4 times negative 1 equal 2. So that's a negative x plus 4 equal 2. To solve the equation, you do minus 4 on both sides and you have negative x equal to negative 2 so therefore x is equal to 2. You got the second letter. All you need is z. So you pick any of the first three equations 
which I'll pick the easiest one, the one that's not, that doesn't have as many letters attached, numbers attached to the letter, and I'll plug in the X and Y and try to get Z. So I got 2 plus 2 times negative 1, because that's what Y is, minus Z equals negative 1. This is 2 minus 2 minus Z equals negative 1. If you notice the 2's will cancel, so you have minus Z equals negative 1, and therefore Z is equal to 1. So you have solved this matrix. Okay, let's say you have a matrix X plus Y. It's missing a Z component and equal to negative 4. And then another matrix below it, Y minus Z equal to 1. And then the last equation is 2X plus Y plus 3Z equal to 21. If you notice, um, let's say I pick in step 1, if I pick the second equation, y minus z equal to 1. I'm already done with step 1. I already have it in terms of two letters. All I need to do is, in step 2, get it in terms of y and z. So in step 2, I'll pick the equations I have left, which are the first and the third equation. So I have x plus y, skip the z, equal negative 4, and then I'll have a 2x plus y plus 3z equal 21. Now remember, I need to eliminate x because I need to get it in terms of just y and z. So when you look at the numbers attached to both x's, I have a 1 on this one and a 2 on that one. Common denominator of 1 and 2 is 2, so therefore I need to make 1 a negative 2 and 1 a positive 2. 1 is already a positive 2, so to make the top one a negative 2, I just need to multiply that whole equation by negative 2. That will give me negative 2x minus 2y equal 8. And the bottom equation, if I write it, I have 2x plus y plus 3z equal 21. So when I add this from top to bottom, x's will cancel. And so that will give me a negative y plus 3z equal to 30, or 29, I'm sorry. So that's my other equation. So in step 3, what I do is put my two equations together. y minus z equal 1 and negative y plus 3z equal 28. It's already set up where one y is positive, the other is negative. So if I add it from top to bottom, the y's cancel and I get 2z is equal to 29. Okay, let's rewind, because 21 and 28, 21 plus 8 is not 28, it's actually 29. And so this is going to be 1 plus 29 here, which is going to give you a 30. So this is going to be 2z equal 30. I'm leaving this mistake in because I want you to see how important it is to put numbers together. Because if you have one number slightly off, your whole math will be off. So that leaves us with 2z equal to 30. And what we'll do is we'll divide both sides by 2, and we'll end up with z equals 15. So we have z. All we need to do is get x and y. So to get y, we can plug it into one of the first equations. I'll plug it into the top one. And it'll be y minus 15 equal to 1. To solve this, you add 15 on both sides and you get y equals 16. So you have z and you have y. All you need to get is x. Easy as one, x is not in the second one, so you have either out of the first or the third. What I can do, if I plug it into the first one, that's the easiest one because you know that whatever x is in the first equation, it's going to be the same in the third. And since the first is already missing a letter, it makes it easier to solve. So what I'll have is x plus 16, because that's what y is, equal negative 4. To solve this, you subtract both sides by 16, and you get x is equal to negative 20. Just to show you that it wouldn't matter which equation you plugged it to, let's say if I plugged it into the last equation. What I have is 2x, assuming I don't know what x is yet, plus 16, because that's what y is plus 3 times 15, because that's what z is, equal to 21. So this comes out to 2x plus 16. 3 times 15 is 45. 
equal to 21. And I'll add my like terms, I get 2x plus 61 equal to 21. To solve this, you subtract 61 from both sides, and I end up with 2x equal to negative 40. Then I divide both sides by 2. As you see, it's much more work, but you still end up with the same answer, x equal to negative 20. So no matter what equation you plug it into, you'll get the same answer out.